I want to do my first video here of Karina, who's growling and grumbling a little bit. And this is a cat returned to our program for um, intense sort of skin itching and allergies going on. You can see around her tail area where all the fur is gone. She's around her legs as well. She's kind of over grooms, um, to put it mildly. And the previous adopter has done wonderful job of trying to get to the bottom of it but not been able to do so. So we're going to be working with her with diet. Um, we're going to be looking for a home with no carpeting in case we're looking at some dust mites or some issues. And um, hopefully we're going to get to the bottom of why she's uh, so, um, you know, so fur challenged, if you will, it's just really over grooming herself. Now, don't be misled by sort of the grumbling and growling that we hear here because this gal has lived since a kitten with a wonderful owner and is nothing but wonderful, loving, affectionate, um, sleeps on her, does nothing but laps it, is just a fantastically well adjusted kitty. Um, she's here at the center and this she just got here moments ago and this is a very overwhelming um, situation and change of pace for any cat so this type of behavior is not at all surprising and to hear this sort of grumbling and growling and by video number two and three you'll see that we have a different cat who is very well adjusted and extremely well socialized um, and will adapt very quickly to a home. A little bit more difficult when they're trying to adapt here to the center and they do have to do a cage experience at first because that's the only way we can really monitor what's going on with them as far as intake and output goes. So uh, we have lots of information on this gal's habits and the big thing to remember f with her at this point is that she is probably going to require um, a specific food of some sort and we'd like to find a home with no carpeting and as we gather more information um, on that we'll be sharing it um, I suspect she'd be fine with another cat she has lived as the only cat but again that becomes a little difficult if you're doing a special food so keep that in mind um, she uh, hasn't shown any um, trepidation at, at seeing or smelling the other cats here yet so we'll we'll find that out as we get to know her a little bit more